Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film is how to do a sketch roof. The desire here is to sketch a roof over our front door here. It's not really a footprint roof like we've done in uh, previous examples, but it's going to be a sketch roof. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a couple sketch lines on top of that door and extrude that out as a roof element. So this is how you do it. If you go to uh, your, uh, your, your, your ribbon and go to the roof button here and go to the expanded panel arrow and pull that down and go to the roof by extension first thing it's asking for is uh, what plane you want to use. If you have a defined plane already in uh, Revit Architecture you can go ahead and use that. We probably don't by now. So by default it's going to have us uh, with the radio button clicked over here it's going to have us pick a plane. And what you do is you run along your model. What you try to do is go to the edge of the model and that'll help you highlight a plane. You'll notice that that plane is uh, kind of lit up with a blue border and that's the plane that we want. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Level is arbitrary because we're going to be drawn in horizontal. It doesn't really matter what level we choose. So choose the default setting and offset's going to be zero and then go to OK. It kind of gives us a kind of a ghost uh, edge image to our model that we've drawn so far. And what it's looking for, and we'll just adjust it a little bit, it's looking and giving us the ability for some sort of uh, sketch lines. From these sketch lines, it's going to be able to extrude a roof. So let's go ahead and create some reference geometry. I'm going to go to the midpoint of the door, and it's used the very same symbols that we remember seeing in AutoCAD. It's the midpoint. Uh, it's the midpoint. Uh, you know, object snap. We're going to draw a line up maybe about uh, three or four feet. Maybe go up about three feet six inches, and draw another line off arbitrarily off to the side. The reason I want to do it arbitrarily is when you suck in that line again, it gives you the ability to adjust those dimensions. Right now it's object snapping to a lot of the bricks that are on there and some of the other reference geometry that's around there. We may not want that. So I'm going to make that line 6 feet long. I'm going to make the angle about 60 degrees. Press Enter. And just like in AutoCAD, we have a mirror function. So if you click on this line, go up here to the mirror by pick axis. What we're used to in AutoCAD is a mirror by drawing an axis. So we drew an axis in AutoCAD. But in this one, we're going to do mirror by picking an axis. So if you click on that one, because we already have an axis drawn, which is that reference geometry, we're going to click on that guy, and it takes a line exactly 6 feet at 60 degree angle to that line. It's going to mirror it over to the other side. So take your cursor, go off to the right. Just to clear that command, delete our reference geometry, and then go to our green check mark. And we should have a roof that goes inside the house, not outside of the house. So this is kind of weird in some respects. So Revit is very sophisticated. In other respects, it's kind of clunky. And what we have with this flashing wall here is that we have two elements trying to occupy the same space. So you see the roof popping out in some places and the bricks popping out in other places. Okay, to fix this, what you want to do is grab this uh, just stretch grip and move that back. This might be a little bit easier to do if we're on one of the levels. So let's go to level two and see what that looks like. So there's our roof. It kind of goes through the you know the house and intersects that wall and unattractive. So we're going to bring that back over here. You're going to take that the end of that grip and just drag it off to the right. And just like an AutoCAD, we can pass the grip that's there and just go to the right side of that and click it into place. What we want is some sort of exact dimension here. So if you click on the roof itself. Uh, we can type in a dimension here, maybe five feet. The problem with that is it kind of stretches it and brings it away from the wall. So let's do this. Let's bring that back to the wall. Don't necessarily have to lock it into place, but let's take this one and move that over so we can get somewhere close to five feet. So there's five feet one inches. Let's go ahead and uh, click on that, and uh, you can change your dimension if you select the object first. And that's a fairly common thing in uh, Revit architecture. You can't change the dimension if it's a permanent dimension, unless you select the object first, and it highlights in blue. So type in five, and that should be in pretty good shape. And I believe my uh, roof is still connected to that wall. We can verify that by going to our 3D view. It's still selected there. So it actually stretched it out by five feet and it's still connected to the wall. You see that uh, bold black line in the back. And to make that roof consistent with our other roof, we're going to pick the appropriate roof, which is our wood rafter eight inch asphalt shingle insulated roof. And that completes our sketch roof. Thank you for joining me and join me for there. Uh, yep, join me again for other videos. Bye bye now.